Moonlit Surrender by Kitty Wilder. Have you heard of it? No, this video is for you. Now, Kitty Wilder is not an indie author. However, she does contribute to the indie world. All the way from the Midwest, Kitty Wilder is a matrimonial enthusiast wrangling three kids on the daily while dabbling in the dark arts of BDSM. She also loves to tell dirty stories as much as she writes them, which I will leave in the description below called Kitty Reads, her YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. And over the years, Paranormal Romance, Moonlit Surrender, was born. Lucy Beckett finds herself trapped between the world her fiancé wishes her to be in, a mold of a Stepford wife, pushing out babies, being in the kitchen, the furthest thing this gothic princess desires. A gothic princess her fiancé disapproves as she sticks out like a sore thumb. Taking a bunch of night classes, she eventually ends up in the wrong one, and when she realizes it, she is stuck and in the clutches of the most intimidating man up at the front, Professor John Wright. She feels drawn to him, she sticks around for the class, and finds herself spending more and more time with him. The more she gets to know him, the more she learns. But by the time she discovers herself, it's far too late. Her desires are already unlocked and untamed, and she's found what she's been looking for, the more that she's needed. She's finally found the void that she's been missing all this time. And as she learns John's secrets, she also discovers a villain from his past. As the chaos unfolds in her world and his, she chooses to follow him every step of the way. I wish that there was more books like this, but I will say that if you're curious about the BDSM world, it was very well written, very, very tasteful, and just very satisfying to read. The professor and student fantasy has been around since the dawn of time, and it is definitely something I enjoy reading often. Moonlit Surrender definitely gets five stars for me, without a doubt. Reading Moonlit Surrender was not just reading a book. It was an experience and it was a great one. It was just so put together and it I was enthralled the entire time. Yes, there is more books out there with this trope. This was just done so well that books like this are hard to find. And I've read plenty. I have read so many. It's very, very hard to be blown away by a book these days because there's just so many releasing. Um, but this one has kept me on the edge of my seat every page. I didn't get bored, not for one second. Yes, there is a cheating bit in the book, but I really think that that's as real as it gets. I mean, this is an everyday occurrence, but I kind of like how she relates to the everyday life. It's reality. Things happen. And when people aren't happy, they find happiness. Introducing this curve in the book was bold, but it was also something relatable. And I think the way she has it in the story is just a truth of Lucy's unhappiness. Kitty Wilder also has a new release coming out July 30th called Desperately Seeking Daddy. Available on Amazon, Kobo, Nook, and Apple which I will also leave in the description, including a list of her social media. Make sure you check out Kitty Wilder's YouTube channel, which I'll link below. And while you're there, make sure you check out other dirty stories, including the excerpt of my book, Becklin's Doll of the Christmas series. Really? <sighs> what the fuck? If you're interested in checking out more of Becklin's Daw or Kitty Wilder, make sure you check out the descriptions below and make sure you subscribe to her channel where you can find out more of her upcoming books. Until next time.